I think we're getting started. Whew, yes. Hey, happy to be back. I'm so glad to be doing this and connecting with you. I get to connect with so many of you in private. It's nice to be here on this platform and being able to come to you live. And I love to know when you are here and where you're from and if you have any questions. And especially if you're viewing this after the fact, please feel free to post questions, comments, bam, whatever we're talking about. Love it. And if you're new today, hey, welcome. I am Paulette Reese Denis. I am your transformational lifestyle and business coach for, for business coach. Let me just say that right. For creative women who are in mid-career, mid-change, mid-life, who are looking to step into their creative zone of genius, who are looking to make change, who are looking for deeper connection. And this challenge, this journey that I'm taking you all on this month is about epic self-care. The more you can show up in the world, the more you participate as a happier person, a more joyful person, a more in tune, right? Turned on, lit up person. Because we want more of those in the world. We want more of you in the world. I want to see more of what you are doing. And that's my word for the year is easy. I want it to be easy. But what's our word for today? So this is it's you time when you say yes, girl. Hell yeah, that's what I want. Right? That's what I want. Hell yeah. If it's not a hell yeah, then forget it. Don't do it. Step into the most powerful being that you are. Hi, my friends, come in and let me know you're here because I don't know who you are unless you post in the comments. I don't know where you're from. I love seeing more people coming in. Beautiful. And part of this action is to get you to participate, is to share your comments, is to take time to show yourself to me and but to yourself. And sometimes it's writing it down. Thoughts become words, become things. I say this all the time, all the time. Thoughts become words, become things. We are multi-passionate creative women. We have a lot going on. We have lots of ideas. Maybe we get into overwhelm. If you've ever been in that place where you have so many things Maybe it's so many great ideas have just come to you and you don't know what to do first. Or you're overwhelmed with that long freaking to-do list, right? Mm. How many of you have had that? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. <laughs> it is, oh, I mean, I've been there a million times where I end up sitting in the middle of my living room on the floor crying because I don't know which way to turn. So one of my tips for today, oh, hey, Mindy. <laughs> oh, great to see you. Mindy says, too often, ha ha, yes, so often. Because 
we love being multi-passionate and I don't want to tell you to like do only one thing, but to get better focused, to get better clarity, I want you to do one thing at a time. So that's different than picking one thing out of your plethora of creative ideas, right? But like when you set yourself up every day, so I get up in the morning and I do my morning ritual, which a lot of you have heard about, you know, it's, it's meditate, percolate and dance break. It's spending time with myself in the morning, getting myself focused, connected, setting my day up for success so that I can move through my day with ease, with joy, with action, and have things come into fruition, right? Have things complete. And yes, there are days when it's like, oh, I want to do this. 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 I got to do this. I have to do this. I got to pay those bills. I got to clean the house. You know, I got to cook dinner for the kids, whatever. But if you can take some time to focus on one thing at a time, and it could be for an hour, but think about it ahead of time. Set your intention. Because when you do, and you get that thing done, you will feel really good. And that is about self-loving, self-care. You see what I'm talking about? So in the morning, set your day up for success and focus on one thing at a time. So perhaps this morning from 9 to 12, I'm going to work on this thing, this one thing. Or maybe it's an only an hour because it's really nice to take breaks every hour. And you know what I'm talking about as an entrepreneur, you can get caught up in your own schedule. You can get caught up in all the things, right? Hey, Sherry. All right. I'm just looking to see. I have to make space in my schedule now to make time to focus on one thing at a time. Yes. And Lisa says, hey, hey, it's great to see you again, my friend. It's been a long time. Love it. I love that you're here. So, but think about this. So let's say you are, you have 8,000 things to do. Well, I have methods in my book. You can read my book about making a magic action plan and getting your action steps and your purpose, your sole purpose and your reasons for doing these things. That's not what I'm talking about right now today, but to focus on one thing at a time. So maybe it's just an hour. So from nine to 10, you focus on this thing. And it brings you clarity. It brings you connection. And you get shit done. <laughs> you get it done. You know, maybe it's, I have so many emails to answer. You know, as entrepreneurial women, we get caught up in all the things. And I've been there. But if I don't set up my day each day, I want to set it up for success. I want to feel really good. I want to feel connected. I want to feel connected with my passions, my work, what I'm doing to create change, what I'm doing to create my own abundance, and what I'm bringing to my people, my clients, my students. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So whether it's an hour or three hours or the whole day, do one thing at a time. And when you're done, so if it's 9 to 10, you're done at 10 o'clock. Even if you didn't finish it, maybe there's another thing you have to do from 10 to 11. With a 10-minute break in between. <laughs> and you need to schedule it out. My friends, you want to be successful in your business. You want to feel good in your body. You want to feel good in your life. Maybe it's going to the gym. One thing at a time. Then you don't have crazy monkey mind. How many of you have been there? 
Yes, I have too. I know. I know, I know, I know. So take a minute right now. What are you going to focus on? What's your one thing? What's your one thing you want to complete today? Maybe there's a bunch, but what's the one thing? What's going to move you forward? What's going to make you feel accomplished? What's going to like leave the stress off your shoulders? Maybe you can write it in the comments. Share it with me. Because thoughts become words become things. I'm always telling you to write it down. I'm always telling you to to get your journals out, to get your, I have so many beautiful journals of ideas and projects and lessons and all the things I'm working on because I love doing lots of different things. I am a multi-passionate creative woman. I run a business that has many umbrellas, many facets, and I love it. I love it all. But if I don't organize it, if I don't say today I'm going to work on this, tomorrow I'm going to work on this, I want to focus on this, I want to get this done, because it's going to make me feel good. It's going to move my business forward. It's going to help my clients. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. One thing at a time. Focus on one thing at a time. Put it in your calendar. Your calendar is your boss. What do I tell you all the time? <laughs> your calendar is your boss. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave you with that. But the other thing I'm going to just suggest to you is if you are ready to get more support, more coaching with me, I have opened up 10 spots to give you a free from chaos to creativity from your chaos to your creativity zone of genius a discover call uh, to set up, up a call with me for a half an hour to find out what's next for you if coaching with me is what's next for you let's get that set up let's get you moving forward into that creative zone of genius help you find your clarity and your focus make those changes and let go of some of those old stories that keep holding you back and you can set that up with me. I'll put the links down below. So you can make that appointment with me. I would love to talk with you and find out what you are needing and how I can help. So we continue on with these daily